Frost fumbled it away. Open McAvoy waiting. Backhanded score. Charlie McAvoy wins the game for Boston. Charlie McAvoy's ninth of the season was the overtime winner and final stab on what was an exciting night at Rogers Place. As the Oilers, they opened their five-game homestand with an overtime loss. Now, the home squad did find themselves down 4-1 to one, thanks to Jake DeBrusque's 13th of the season, 13:57 into the middle frame. That was followed by Warren Fogle's second of the hockey game, Matthias Janmark's second in as many games, and Corey Perry's third in an Oilers uniform. And then the team's respective leading goal scorers got in the goal column with Pasternak's 36. And Zach Hyman's 34th, sending this game to the extra frame where the Oilers eventually pick up one point with the 6-5 loss to the Bruins. You know, you grab bits and pieces. Right? I think you're happy with the way that you battled back, you know, 4-1 against a really good team to be able to come back twice um, and earn a point, I think, is, um, you know, it says a lot about our team when we face adversity and at the same time. You don't want to put yourself in that position, right? I think you have to, we have to learn, you know, since we've been back, I think we put ourselves in this position too too often, and uh, we have to learn to, you know, play consistently throughout the whole game again. Now, the Oilers did have a golden opportunity to start the overtime period with one minute and 40 seconds of power play time to begin the extra frame. Yeah, just uh, I thought we had a luxe, obviously, just, you know, just missed the net by a little bit a couple times, I think. Made a couple good saves on Leon on the one-timer, and um, yeah, you just got to get looks, and we had looks, it just didn't go in. Now, Ryan Nugent Hopkins was not available tonight due to illness. In his place went Warren Fogle, and into the goal column, he went not once, but twice, registering his 12th and 13th of the season. Yeah, just trying to make the most of my opportunity whenever uh, I get up there, but, you know, couldn't have done it without my line mates, you know, those are... Two amazing players, and you know those are great, uh, great leaders on our team, and you know just making me feel comfortable playing with them. And um, yeah, it was fun playing with them. For Oilers TV, I'm Tony Brar.